Hello and welcome to JW Solar USA. Today's video is all about um, the MNSPD, which means the Midnight Solar Surge Protective Device. So this is what we're going to be um, talking about today here on the channel here. So folks, I'm just going to show you what you need to protect your system from all kind of surge and all kind of uh, lightning arrestor. This is a lightning arrestor that protects your device from lightning and a huge surge of electricity. For example, batteries or, you know, you end up touching wires that shouldn't be touching, maybe uh, a wrench um, drop on your batteries and cause a huge surge that's supposed to destroy your system with a high voltage and including uh, current. And this, uh, the MNSPD will take care of all this as I take you to the bench and so that you can see how we're going to dissect this entire device and see how it works. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, and share. All right, folk, folks, uh, as I was saying, here is the, the Midnight such protective device and installation manual right here which is called the mnspd as it says right here so folks i want you you guys you yourself to read this entire um paragraph which uh, you can able to pause anytime and able to read all what the device is trying to do and by saying that this is what it looks like the uh made in different uh voltages here as you i can take you closer and look at that you have the 115 volt and you have a 300 and a 600 volt they all work in different ac and dc so the one we're going to be talking about here is going to be the uh the mnspd 115 okay so uh, let's go through that. I'm going to show you the, the actual device itself. All right, folks, this is the device as I'm talking about here. If you can see, if we can only get a camera really nice and you see all the writing on the thing. What this device, the specifications and all the, uh, uh, I want you guys to see that. You see the, uh, the MNSPD? 15 it tells you the voltage it operates on and all the uh, current and all the good stuff on that one so this one can work on both 12 24 and 48 volt battery bank this is just for the battery bank okay folks um there are different ones that the 300 and the 600 they protect like a big solar rays and for outside maybe or for uh the ac AC of it and high voltage DC, which is uh, really, really, really uh, dangerous voltages. Like, um, you know, these huge uh, rays that uh, been out there, been installed for houses and all the good stuff. But um, so far, so good. I just want to show you if you guys have never seen one before. This is your first time in real life. Well, welcome to the channel, and I hope this one is going to make sense to you, and uh, this is how it looks like. I hope um, you find this video helpful, and stay tuned as I'm going to make this video not too long. All right, folks, I'm just protecting this uh, the battery side of my system, and uh, which other one's going to be coming. Yeah, if you look at here, folks, you can see... The Midnight MNSPD 115, which is uh, here, it can work with a 300 and 300 uh, 300 volt AC and DC. So let's look at the the the, the specs. Sorry, from <laughs> sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. It works out with um, uh, from zero to ninety volt AC and zero to 
115 volt DC. So this thing before is going to protect this. This device is supposed to be in a higher number compared to uh, the device is protecting, which is uh, if the battery bank is going to be 12, 24, 48. And this thing is all the way 215 volt DC. And if you can see here, these are all the specs from the side here. So it clamps at 100 amp. Okay, and it's going to be the current about 8 slash 2 US. So if you look at the peak here, the full protection is a 100 kA full device and 50 kA each section as a current. So if we keep coming down here, you will see where it says the specification of the energy absorption, absorption which is... Uh, uh, 1120 full device and um, uh, 560 joules and you will see started protecting from here the suggested uh, uh, placement is going to be up to about 90 volt AC and from 12 24 and 48 battery bank circuit so if I want to draw your attention all the way down here you guys can see all the specs for yourself because um, this is one of my first device and um, since I, I have a Midnight Classic and some of the other good stuff, the breakers and all the stuff, this is how it clamps. So the maximum voltage is going to reach all the way to about uh, 115 and it passes all the way very close to 300 very close to 300 or 400 sorry right there but at a thousand amps peak current okay there's a voltage section right here voltage peak from here so since it's a, a 115 volt dc and a 90 volt ac you see the graph is going to tell you right here so you guys have seen yourself you can read all this thing by yourself and see by yourselves and you guys can see all pause the video and read through and uh, you will see exactly how this system works if you find this information helpful please Get to the Midnight um, Solar website and you can be able to look at this thing and see exactly if you can uh, follow it through the video. I don't want the video to be long, but let's get back to business here. All right, this is a clear representation here how this system being used. It's used on AC and DC of the thing. Like I was telling you, have the uh, 115, the 300 and 600 volt uh, uh, of this device, which you can use the ground, which is the green, the black, and the red, which is right here. So we have all the three wires. The ground is this one, the green one, and the red goes to the positive, and this one goes to the neutral, which is the negative right here. Since it's a DC part, you can see if you have this box that uses uh, fuses and all this, you have to have main, uh, maybe a midnight... Um, so baby box or the bigger one, the big baby box, then you can be able to hook up this thing. And uh, it comes with all the uh, the stuff that's supposed to tie on the PVC box, you know, all the stuff that's supposed to hold it underneath here and screw it, it holds the protection. So folks, so these are the this is the diagram if you want to hook it up. So you guys can look. The DC from the um, the battery, the negative, the ground, and you have the AC side if you're using the two side because this was using the AC and DC. Okay, so um, how you can hook it up? Let's come back here, and now it shows you exactly the PV combiner box. This is your solar array coming all the way and feeding to the neutral. And uh, feed into um, 
to the positive bus bar and the ground. So you can able to use two of them if you wish. I've seen some other system that has uh, more than four of them. So you can protect the DC side, which is this, and the AC part of it here. Okay, this one is designed for Outback. This is a hardback inverter right here. And it's a midnight uh, classic. So take a look closely. The PV array, PV input coming all the way to the boss bar. Okay. And you have another boss bar right here, which is the ground and the neutral, which is the negative and the positive up here. Okay, from there, you see this thing is going to light up with a blue light, which is this one here. See that? That's going to be a blue light. It's going to uh, illuminate and gives it a cool, cool, cool color that uh, always on because trying to protect the system from being hurt by any uh, lightning or any surge so the system can able to handle that instead of your device going to be destroyed and um, this device is going to do the thing that should be doing and this is original came from Arlington uh, Washington Seattle see this printer right there it says midnight solar so I hope this video will help you guys how to go about this and uh, according to the diagram here, you guys can see exactly how this device works. So I hope you can pause this video and um, you just go about it. See it? But I'm going to be installing it. You're going to see a part two of this video and make sure you stay tuned so that you can see how this device has been installed. This is how it looks in a utility um, box, which is uh, um, the main panel, how you connect that. See it? Disconnect and all the way to that. And let's, let me bring you down here and read it. This is a neutral right here. This is the earth ground right here. One of the green wires tying here, which is, uh, if you look at these wires right here, this is the earth ground. This is the neutral. But this is for the DC, not the AC one. But you just have to use it in the reverse if it comes to the AC. And this is the positive. So you can see how it's going to be wired. But this is the DC one, not the AC. So these are all your breakers here. This is at ground. This is a neutral. So the one that goes through the breaker. For like uh, if it's a DC, it goes through the breaker right here. Okay. You see how everything works. Right there. You have all these wires here. The neutral. And that's how you protect the system. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you think um really helpful and you think you want to protect your system i encourage you to get one of these device this is a must have on your system you have the ac and the dc this is just the dc i'm protecting my batteries from high surge and um lightning you know because you have to ground your batteries as well folks batteries are grounded you always ground the neutral the the the, the, the negative of it and take it all the way down to your earth ground Never connect your earth ground for your house earth ground to your solar. The solar ray is supposed to be grounded by itself. Okay? Should have its own ground, the solar the panels, and the bad, the equipment supposed to be your device equipment supposed to have its own grounding as well. So never use one ground rod just like or you can do a parallel grounding two rods i will show you on my next video how to do a parallel grounding a safer and a most reliable 
grounding for solar system is a parallel parallel grounding so this is how your equipment be grounded and the batteries get grounded it has its own ground rod and it you have the the the, the equipment grounded then you have the solar ray grounded okay so don't put the solar ray ground rod or grounding for your equipment as well if a lightning struck to your panels outside it's going to come and hit your your devices inside the house so you don't want that to happen that's why solar ray all of them supposed to have their own ground rods they're always going to be grounded separately compared to uh the equipment in your house or your devices that's a must must done that's the proper way to do it Okay, and don't try to use the house grounding, trying to ground your solar equipment. Those are two different grounding. Leave the house ground rod by itself. Don't mess with it. Just ground your solar modules or your panels on a ground rod separately and ground your equipment separately. Okay, and if you're going to be throwing the power out to your house, that's fine. And your batteries has to be grounded as well by taking it from the neutral, which is the negative, to the ground rod. Okay? That's how you ground how a system be grounded properly. So I'm going to take you a quick brief here so you guys can just see what is going on here. And this is how I'm going to be installing. This de device works on both sides, AC and DC. I hope you find this video in, um, informative. I hope you find this video very helpful. And don't forget to subscribe from my channel. This is JW Solar USA. And thanks for watching. Let's go solar.